We have two of the biggest stars in combat sports with us right now, Kayla Harrison and Clarissa Shields. So first off, Clarissa and Kayla, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you guys for having us. So one of the reasons that we were so excited to have you both together uh, was because, Clarissa, we just saw the video of you training, it looks like some MMA training with I Adeline Gray. I shooting the double. Yeah. I mean, people have been talking about a possible fight between you, the greatest female boxer alive, and Amanda Nunes, who is well known as like the greatest stand-up game in MMA right now. She's been knocking people out like crazy. And when we saw you in the gym training in wrestling, it got us very excited <laughs> that maybe you were one step closer to actually seeing this super fight go down. So, Clarissa, tell us what's going on. Is this happening? I'm going to be patient with it. I want to learn um, learn how to wrestle and learn how to do everything first. And uh, then, I, then I'm willing to come over there because I want to give myself a 100% win factor. And not just come in like, oh, I know how to box, but I don't know how to wrestle. I don't know how to get out of a headlock. I don't know how to kick nobody. I want to learn all that stuff. And then, then I'll be able to come over and, uh, you know, show people what's up. So, Kayla, when, when you see the video of Clarissa, I know you were just saying you're in your infancy in terms of training on the mat and all that stuff, but, yeah. Kayla, you're the, the most dominant woman when it comes to the ground game. When you see what Clarissa's doing in the gym, do you see, like, real potential with her? I'm proud of her. First of all, she's a two-time Olympic champion in what she does, okay? To step on a mat and to put yourself in a, in a world where you know nothing, like... The first time I ever went to a striking class, I was scared to death. So to put herself in that position with such high caliber females is, uh, I'm really inspired by it. I think a lot of people will be inspired by it. And I see some true potential there. If she wants to continue to work on her double, she got my number. I'll show her some judo throws. We can make it happen. As long as you help me, as long as you help me straighten out my striking, okay? So far in my yeah. intimate career, I have thrown about zero punches <laughs> on the feet, so. <laughs> I would definitely help Kayla with that, you know, but, and, uh, <laughs> it and needs she's a right. lot like, of work. My nerves, like, I don't get nervous doing a whole bunch of stuff, but I was nervous as hell when I seen Adeline, and nervous as hell when she was talking about wrestling with me. I'm just like, no. <laughs> she's like, she was very patient with me, and it was like everything she showed me, I caught on to it very quick. You know, and I yep. guess that's the, the Olympic athlete in me, but For I sure. actually enjoy wrestling I enjoyed it, which was so weird because I hate people grabbing me. I, I, I don't like wrestling, and it was fun. <laughs> That is exactly how I felt the first time I sparred in MMA. I was like, I was terrified. I didn't really want to get punched in the face. I was like, oh yeah. my God, what if I die? CTE. Ah. But I went in there. They locked the door behind me and I was like, oh my God, I love this. There is no greater feeling. Like you never, you don't feel more alive than when they lock a door behind you and the person across from you is trying to kick your ass. And like, <laughs> see, that, see, that sounds no terrifying to me. Like, it's as close to no holds bar as you can get. Like you can punch, you can kick, you can take down, you can choke them, you can ankle lock them, you run. can break their so arms. They lock the door, so you cannot run now. They lock the door. I didn't know <laughs> <laughs> So, Kayla, I have a question for you. So, how long do you think it would take an athlete like Clarissa to go from the level she's at now to be at a level where she can be competitive in an MMA fight? Hmm. I trained for a whole year before I had my first fight, and. I was still nervous, but I would say, I mean, she's younger than me. She's obviously more of a sponge than me. She, she's picking it up really fast. I mean, she's already shooting doubles, and I still haven't thrown a single punch in a fight. So <laughs> yeah. I think you could probably cut her time in half, maybe six months, and she'd be ready to go. Clarissa, does fighting in an MMA fight in 2020 sound realistic to you? Yes, it sounds, it sounds great. I, actually, it's like, I love boxing, but I've been beating these girls so easy. I mean, That's I don't need to, I'm not being cocky. Like, look at Christina Hammer. Like, I know. she's a 10 year vet, undefeated, 5'11 in height, 24 and 0, 11 knockouts. And then we get in the ring, I just destroy her. MMA is, is, is interesting because I just love fighting. I really do. I, I love fighting. I love to punch people. And they get more respect than the women fighters. Like, I'm a two time Olympic champ, yeah. and the girls in MMA like Amanda Nunes, never been to the Olympics or anything like that, but I feel like she get more credit than me, and it's like she haven't accomplished not even half of what I've accomplished. It sounds like you're it's about like, to switch sports. Like, like you're, you're moving on from boxing and going to MMA. Ready. 
She ready. And I heard that they get paid more. I'm like, they look yeah. too bad over here. <laughs> Do you guys realize we've won four gold medals amongst us all here? Yeah. That's right. pretty impressive. So between me, Babcock, Kayla, and Clarissa, we've won four gold That's medals. That's pretty impressive. Pretty That's impressive pretty awesome. group right here. Oh, great photo, guys. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, me and Kayla both won our Olympic gold medals same years. Same years. 12 and 2016. Hold on. Mm -hmm. In same weight. I bought that 75K. She did do though at 75 yeah. crazy shit. So you guys go way back. So like just talk about like teaming up and actually training together. It's not just some pie in the sky thing. This is a realistic possibility. No, I would love that. Seriously. Yeah, for sure. It, even though like once I get really good at what she does and she gets really good at what I what I do, they always want people to fight each other and to break know, friendships. You know. know what I mean? So, <laughs> so your I friends, would, would you ever? Would could you ever see yourself fighting? You gotta show us the money. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It gotta be good money. I'm talking about and first of all, it's about like it gotta be a conversation money. between me and uh. Kayla. Like me and Kayla gotta talk because First of all, we we're both gonna not talk no nice girl. We'll come range. up with a mutually agreeable amount, and then <laughs> right. we'll make it happen. That's right. <laughs> Say if the bag's right, right anything's possible, right? Like that we're cool after. We're both professional athletes. It's not personal. It's just business. Right. Ozzy, thank you guys both for joining us. It's been an honor. It's a pleasure to talk to both you guys. Hey, when you get home from Cancun, text me. I got you. I'm going to text you. I see. Okay. Look at that. We're making a professional fight this. connection right here on the show. <laughs> you guys great. make dreams come true. That's look right. at that. <laughs> If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.